Hi, this is Deb from businessbuildingshortcuts.com, and I'd like to talk with you about ways to write effective descriptions for your YouTube videos, which should help them get found by search engines. Last year, AimClear did a study that looked at what kind of videos, the text under the videos, the descriptions of the videos, actually resulted in more likelihood of being found for search engine results. And far and away, informational type titles ruled the day. 84% of informational YouTube videos were found versus 18% navigational and 12% transactional. So transactional would be things like buy this, navigational might be a URL. Informational, however, is video descriptions that start with your URL because that gives it a clickable link And then you would write your video description using words like how to do something, learn about, what is, what are, or the history of. That those are more likely to be searched for and returned by Google, Bing, and other search engines in a regular search for a topic. It's more likely that your video will be returned if you use informational descriptions. So let's go ahead and upload a video to YouTube and write an informational description. Here I am logged into the BB Shortcuts YouTube channel. And what I want to do is upload a video that I just created. So I'm going to click here on Upload. And YouTube is going to give me the upload screen. And you can see that I've got it enabled now for my account for more than 15 minutes. And that happens when you're in good standing with YouTube and you have some good videos up there that people like, they will go ahead and give you a larger than 15 minute YouTube maximum length. So what I'm gonna do is upload a video. So I'm gonna click upload and navigate to the video that I want to upload. Okay, I have navigated to a video that I did that shows some of the new features of YouTube, at least new today, uh, that allow you to do some minimal editing of your video once it's uploaded. So I've called that edit video inside YouTube and I'm just going to click on the MP4 file and you can see it's 63 megs and I'm going to click open and it's going to start uploading it immediately. Now while it's uploading, I can begin to set the video information and privacy settings. Now I'm on a very slow internet connection, so your video would never take this long to upload. I'm going to start typing in on the video information and then we'll just go to pause while it finishes uploading because nobody wants to sit through this. Okay, I've written a title, How to Edit Your Video Inside YouTube, and then I added my URL for Instant Video Mastery, which is a course about Camtasia to make videos, and then I've written a description that is both uses some of those informational words like learn how to but also is very detailed in the information I'm giving it. The more you can write in your description, the more likely it is that a search is going to return your video as being relevant to the search. So I've added all different kinds of information in there and I've used special keywords. Now what I need to do is add tags. So in the tags section, you wanna use the keywords that you would be using for your video. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of those. Okay, I've added a number of keywords that I think might be relevant. Then I'm going to select a category, and this is definitely education. I can choose for it to be public, meaning anybody can see it. I can do unlisted, which is a relatively new feature, where it's different from private, where you have a limit of only 25 people can watch that video and you have to add their email. With unlisted, it's new, and what happens is that you can send that link for an unlisted video to anybody and then they will be able to see it. However, there's no protection of it because they can pass it around and everybody can see it. But it is a way for you to use YouTube and get information to people that you may not want to be found by the search engines or by the YouTube search. So that's a kind of a new feature, but I'm going to leave mine public. And I have a standard YouTube license. Uh, meaning that this is my content and I'm granting to YouTube a license to use the content via their their terms of service and you also could use a Creative Commons. 
So now what I want to do is save the changes and you can see it's going up here. Um, still uploading and it's processing the video. So what I'm going to do is save. So as you can see, it's just about done processing and uploading. And then we'll save our changes and go back into the account so that we can see another way to access the video information section that we want to be able to update. So now what I'm going to do is go back into BB Shortcuts, Videos, and here's our video. What I want to do is click on Edit Info. Now you can see that it brought over the description that we entered, the tags that we entered, the category. We can edit all of these things from here. Once it's done processing, we'll get to choose a thumbnail that we like. And then let's talk a bit about the broadcasting and privacy sharings. We discussed this earlier. Public, unlisted, private, the license, comments. Do you want people to be able to comment? I'm going to choose no comments on this one and I don't want comment voting. Now you can choose whichever of these you like. Do you want people to be able to do video responses? Yes, but only if I approve them. Ratings, do I want people rating this? Nah, I don't think so. Embedding, would I like people to be able to embed this video or no, I don't want to make this video embeddable. It's really okay with me if they want to. And syndication, Yes, I want this to be able to be on mobile phones and TV, or no. So you make those changes and then go ahead and just click Save Changes. So now you can see we've got our video started. We have some thumbnails to choose from. And so I'm kind of liking this one as a thumbnail to start it with. You could also do map locations, searching for different places, and um, 3D video options. Now, one thing about map, date, and map. If you start putting personal things and then leaving geolocators, people will be able to find you. So be, <laughs> be sure that if you're going to use things like the map, uh, that you are very clear that people will be able to find you using that and that that's okay with you. So that's all there is to creating video information that should be more easily found by search engines. You can also go into older videos that you've done and that you have up on YouTube and adjust the title and the descriptions to match this so that perhaps more people will be able to find and view your videos on YouTube.